Eleanor, you're so tense. You should chill out. You should learn to relax. She's so pretty. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. It is 12.09 in the afternoon. I'm at the Pottery Studio, as you can probably guess. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of work. I really didn't want to be here. I'm just not motivated, but the people here are so fantastic. I wanted to come really just to hang out more, but um, I'll show you what I'm working on, and then I'm gonna head out, grab some lunch, and then um, get ready for my trip tonight. I'm going to Cleveland, of all places, so. Let's go see what I'm... This is a little jar that I'm making for uh, for Claire's remains, her ashes. So this was one piece, a, a closed form. I made a little line through here uh, and punctured it so that as it dries, the air can come out. When it's leather hard, I'll trim this top part off and then that will help form a gallery for it to drop down so it'll be a little jar, a little lidded container for Claire's ashes. This is a, a bowl that I just got out of the bisque fire with my slip trailing dots there. I'm collecting um, trimmings so I can turn that into slip for future use. But that's a bowl that I'm going to bring home and glaze. And this is, this is one of our class assignments. We're supposed to make um, a juicer. <laughs> that's my juicer. Um, and then a container to hold said juice with a little spout or something. So that's my little juicer. That was the assignment. I'll never use it, but that was the assignment. Hey guys, so I'm just leaving my pottery studio class. Um, I kind of didn't want to go. I didn't want to do any work, honestly. Uh, so I trimmed some pieces and I did make one little container potentially for Claire's ashes. Um, but uh, the women, for the most part, it's women who go to that class are so great. Uh, there's three of them that I particularly enjoy. And we were all there together sitting in the same little clutch and uh, just had a wonderful, wonderful time laughing. Uh, and uh, I was bemoaning one little thing that was, sorry for the, the car shaking. I was bemoaning one little flaw in the bottom of one of my bowls. Um, when you're firing bisqueware, you can layer pieces on top of each other um, when they're being fired. You can't have any glaze sitting on them because they'll stick together. But when it's just a bisque fire, you can stack pieces. Well, someone stacked something that had some slip or something on it. And there's a something in the middle of my bowl that I'm not happy with. So I'm going to try and use a Dremel tool to get that out. But I was bemoaning my little, you know, smudge and saying, I wish I had a kiln at home. And one of the ladies that was there said, oh, I have a kiln. Do you want a kiln? And I was like, you know, I can't, I can't, I have to rewire my electrical system in the house if I want a kiln because they usually run at 220 or whatever it is. Um, and she goes, no, I have one that runs off 110, whatever the regular current is. And she said, it's just a little, a little one. It's a little mini one. And I said, oh, that, that would be nice as long as I don't tell my HOA. Um, I said, hey, well, how much? You know, because they go for, I guess, between five and eight hundred dollars, these kilns. And she goes, she's going to give it to me. She's going to give me a little mini kiln. She says it's very old, but these things can last for decades and decades and decades. So she said she's going to give me a kiln next week, next Tuesday. She's going to give me a kiln. So... <laughs> I'm super excited. Um, so if I can get it to work, it's a manual. So you have to figure out, I have to figure out how to use it. Um, but uh, that is very good news. Another piece of good news, if you're still watching this video, because so far it's pretty boring. Um, I am listening to NPR. I'm listening to the news. And at one point, I almost started crying. Literally, it was, my driving was getting difficult because my eyes were blurring up with tears. I am so excited about the news that Miss the Honorable Katanji Jackson Brown is going to be uh, our next Supreme Court Justice. How frigging excited are you? I am over the moon. A woman, a woman of color, and most importantly, maybe not most importantly, second most importantly, is that she comes from having been a public defender. So I think she's, she's gonna be able to bring I, what I see, and from what her, during her confirmation, what I was able to watch, 
she's going to be able to hopefully bring a sense of humanity and a sense of the people, like real life people, not old white prosecutor people, you know, so I am so excited, so excited, I hope you're excited with me, um, so hopefully she'll be sworn in this summer, I think, it's July, I think, but I'm um, super excited, so I'm going home now, I'm gonna give the cats our treats, we're gonna cuddle for a little while, make sure my ice packs are frozen, and then make sure my devices are all charged, and then it's a nap, uh, and then going to Cleveland. So next time I see you, we'll probably be at the airport or in Cleveland. All right. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, pretty girl. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hello. I know you hear me. Your tail's moving. All right. I have to take a nap. Do you want to take a nap with me? I have a red eye tonight. You give me the bed bedroom eyes? Are those bedroom eyes? Hmm? I love you, buddy. <sighs> All right, so my flight isn't canceled, but it's gonna be another almost two hours before the plane gets here. Uh, thankfully, I have a long layover in Cleveland with no plans, so I'm not too worried about my uh, layover being shortened, but uh, apparently there's tornadoes in the middle of the country and weather on the East Coast and fun, fun, fun. I love my job. I do, I do, I do, I promise. But there's a little sarcasm there right now. Well, there was no one in the crew room who was going to Cleveland tonight. So I think that my crew is probably on the plane, which is arriving in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna walk my way slowly over to the gate. Look, Duncan's is almost open. It was a Starbucks forever. Now it's becoming a Duncan's. I'm very excited. All right. So let's go to Cleveland. Hey guys, good morning from Cleveland. Um, it is 8:29 in the morning. I have no business still being awake, but um, I wanted to grab breakfast here because I was super hungry. Uh, and the breakfast sandwich here is so delicious. It's a brioche roll with um, a thick, giant mass of white, that's not a very appealing word, uh, of white uh, egg whites with sliced turkey underneath and some sort of sauce. It is so delicious. Uh, I'm gonna get a 20% discount. So I bought that and then I had a pile of my little mandarins um, to go with. So that was a yummy, breakfast and I've been watching some YouTube while I had my breakfast. For some reason, when I watch um, one of my favorite YouTubers, you know, uh, Cloud Surfing Andy, um, I'm, I watch all of her videos. And for some reason, I'm always eating when I watch her videos for some reason. I don't know why. I'm always like enjoying a meal when I watch her video. But um, I was watching her do her birthday haul. So I wish Cloud Surfing Andy a very happy birthday. Uh, know that you're loved, honey, if you're watching this video. Um, let's see. The flight from Las Vegas was easy. Totally inconsequential. No problems. No drama. No trauma. Um, super easy. The crew, really nice. Young. I think I even mentioned it for a moment. Uh, one of my crew members was born in the year 2000, which made me want to throw up in my mask. Um, I just can't believe how old I am. I said I was born in 1969 before the moon landing, and they were confused. <laughs> like, should you be sitting, standing up on your own when you're that old, you know? Um, it was funny. Uh, the young man who was working in the back on the shuttle to the, to the, um, the hotel was trying to, he was, he's funny. He's just, he's very, um, snarky, you know, he's, lot, he's got a really quick sense of humor and he was trying to be shady. He was trying to throw shade my way. And I had to remind him that I have 30 years more experience and more practice being shady. I'm just being very nice right now. <laughs> it was a good laugh, but, um, yeah, don't talk to a middle-aged gay guy about, um, throwing shade because we we have perfected throwing shade i have a whole color spectrum of shade i just don't practice because well i'm trying to be a nice person today but um i think that's it my little update about the flight 
Um, I'm gonna jump in that bed right now uh, with my sound machine on because for some reason, as tired as I am, I don't think I'm gonna get to sleep easily. So um, seeing that there's nothing to do in Cleveland, it's cold and rainy, I don't plan on leaving my room. So I'm gonna take as much of a nap as I need. I'm not gonna worry about oversleeping. I'm gonna sleep until I have to, I wake up. And then um, I'll eat, I've got lots of food with me. And then um, I'll worry about sleeping tonight later. All right, so I will see you either this evening or tomorrow morning when I'm on the way to Atlanta, I think. I don't know. I'll see you later. Hey guys, hi. So I'm in Cleveland. I decided to go hiking. No, I'm kind of kidding. I'm just cutting through some trees to get to a Walmart parking lot. Um, so <laughs> it's about six o'clock in the afternoon and I decided to leave the hotel room. It's actually a very nice day here. It's very fresh. It's about 45 degrees. I'm not dressed appropriately, but it's a short walk. Um, I went to bed this morning about 9.30, I don't know. Woke up around two, fully rested. Jumped online, started farting around on the internet, watching some YouTube videos, of course. Binging on some Cloud Surfer Andy and Fly With A Guy. And then, let's see, had some lunch. Farted around doing some research on some pieces I bought in my uh, most recent YouTube haul, if you haven't seen that video. And now I'm over at Walmart. I'm about to go in and buy some cat treats. I know, I have the most exciting layovers. Uh, but um, I'm almost out of cat treats, which is very strange because I'm usually way overstocked. Uh, and it's easier to walk over here to Walmart and buy some rather than drive to Walmart when I get home. So that's my outing for today. Let me find my mask. All right, 40 bucks later, I'm leaving Walmart. Look. Look at the leaves, they're sprouting. Spring is springing. Uh, yeah, 40 bucks later, cat treats got expensive somehow. They used to be like 179 or something for a four pack. And now it's like 250 something at Walmart. I don't know, but I got a bag of them and these little bisque things that they like too. So whatever, they're my cats, they get whatever they want. Back to the room, because it is a little chilly here. Good morning, guys. Hi, happy day, happy day. <sighs> so, get ready for a short story. Do you know how scheduling has been a mess? Weather has been a mess over this past week or so. You know what happened to me last trip, right? With me being stuck at the airport for that long? Well, my friend Julie, uh, who I was really looking forward to working with last night, she messaged me last night saying, hey, Stephen, you know, uh, we were supposed to work together this morning, uh, but we've been rerouted. Just want to let you know, to, you know, take a look at your schedule. Heads up, there might be a schedule change for you. And so it's like, well, I looked and my schedule was still the same. Not fantastic, not the worst, but not fantastic. I was supposed to do a turn out of Cleveland to end up in Fort Myers. But the kicker is that there was like a almost three hours sit in Atlanta. So yeah, Cleveland, Atlanta, sit there for three hours, back to Cleveland, and then down to Fort Myers. So it wouldn't have been the worst day. It just would have been a long day. So um, it was my schedule. I love my job. What can I say? So I was ready to, ready to face the day. Um, this morning, I woke up at 4.30 to look at my schedule, and indeed, it's changed. Man, I am a mess. Uh, it changed for the very rare time to my benefit and my comfort. So now my report time at the airport is not till 1.03 in the afternoon. They removed the Atlanta turn and that two-hour and 45, three, you know, three-hour sit in Atlanta. So happy day, happy day. I get to stay here in my hotel room in Cleveland until this afternoon. Uh, and I was thinking when I called the, the front desk to let them know my report time has changed, I won't be leaving my room until um, noon. And uh, they were like, oh, sure, you know, what's your room information? <clears throat> Is it just, just just you or your whole crew? And I said, I don't know. It's just, it's just me right now. 
Uh, she's like, all right, no problem. I'll change it. And I, I hung up and I'm thinking, how grateful am I? How grateful should we be as flight attendants that when these things change, the hotel just accommodates us for the most part, for the most part. Um, if I were just a regular hotel guest, could you imagine calling your hotel front desk saying, hey, I'm not going to check out for five or six more hours, just letting you know. Um, they'd be like, uh, yeah, no, you have to check out. Or there's this enormous fee for checking out later, you know. So I'm so grateful. Uh, and this hotel is so nice. The people are so kind here. Um, the trick is I only packed food for yesterday. Uh, I packed one additional meal for later on tonight in uh, Fort Myers because I only have a 14 hour layover. Thank goodness I always pack extra food in my luggage that doesn't require refrigeration. So I have a can of fruit cocktail. <laughs> I guess I love fruit cocktail. And I have a can of chili in my bag. So thank goodness I have that for later on today. But I don't have anything really packed for breakfast outside of a couple packets of really emergency instant oatmeal, which I really don't enjoy eating. But thankfully, I know this story goes on forever. This hotel has a um, crew room and, you know, we're blessed when they have a crew room, especially a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. So you come downstairs and there's hot, fresh coffee pretty much 24 hours a day. It's still hot and fresh fruit. Well, clearly, I'm I'm going shopping. Um, you know, a little granola bar, and the refrigerator has um, snacks like fruit and yogurt and juice and stuff. And there's a microwave, uh, so this is a very happy, happy, happy thing. Now I'm gonna cart my little goodies upstairs, crawl back in bed, eat this, and probably turn back into bed and take another long nap since I don't have to check out until noon. And it's not even 5 a.m. So. I will see you later on today. Oh, back in bed, so nice, oh, so happy. Hey guys, how are you? So I'm in Cleveland at the uh, in the Jet Bridge. We're gonna be boarding in a minute. We've got 182 people, fully, fully booked. Um, the flight time is gonna be two hours and 15 minutes. How fantastic is that? Really great crew. They're all from, I think they're from Fort Lauderdale. Um, awesome flight crew. No complaints yet. <laughs> Anything could happen, but Fort, Fort Myers people are usually pretty chill, so no worries. So I will see you in Fort Myers. Ooh, oh my goodness. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Fort Myers. I'm just doing a quick check of the room. Got to look for the crazies, you know, and then in a minute after I do the quick room tour, I'll check for bed bugs. Always check for bed bugs. Always. Uh, but uh, it's a cute little room. I have not had a layover here ever. And if I have, it was more than four and a half, five years ago, because I don't remember. So the room's okay. I'll give you a quick room tour, though. There is the bathroom. And here is... The hotel room actually actually it's quite nice it looks better on camera <laughs> honestly the beds are very very freshly made so i'll check for bed bugs though um got this little area here not too shabby let's look at what the view looks like all right there's some water there's the pool i don't have a bathing suit with me but there's some uh water and as usual a highway all right hello oh, it's a very springy bed hi so it is about 5 14 in the afternoon here in fort myers i just pulled off my work shirt um i am probably going to do a quick change into some regular clothes uh to go downstairs in about 20 minutes for their happy hour uh this hotel chain gives us a meal i'm not quite sure what it is it's never like spectacular but it's free so i'll take it we stay in this chain somewhere else in the country. I don't know where it is, but they give us like a free meal. There's a free drink, like an alcoholic beverage, and you can buy another one at a reduced price. I forget what it is, but um, being that I don't drink, I usually give my coupons. I'll buy that second drink because it's cheap, and I'll give both coupons to my whoever's sitting nearby, and they're usually very appreciative of that. 
Um, the meal is very welcome because um, I did not expect to be in Cleveland as long as I was. So I ended up eating one additional meal that um, I had packed for tonight, leaving me with a can of lentil soup, which is like my emergency food, and some Pop-Tarts <laughs> in my luggage. So I'm glad to have that meal at least. So I'll eat tonight. Maybe I'll have a soup before bed. Uh, the flight today from Cleveland was lovely. Um, great crew. In particular, my lead, she and I just had a great time. A couple really good laughs. I really enjoyed her up in front. Um, passengers were wonderful. No problems. None at all. No drama. No trauma, like I say. Um, yeah, that's it. Not a very exciting flight, which is exactly how I like it. So I'm going to take these clothes off and grab a bite to eat. I may see you later, uh, but I don't anticipate anything interesting happening. So I might just see you tomorrow morning. All right. See you soon. Bye. Well, the chicken Alfredo was kind of grotesque, but I'm uh, getting my fill of a hot dog and some nachos. It's kind of an unappealing picture, isn't it? morning guys hi so it is just about six o'clock i'm taking the six o'clock shuttle rather than the 6 30 shuttle my showtime isn't until 7 10 but um there's no kcm here and i just don't want to run to the gate i'm too old and whatever so um my shuttle is here i don't see anybody out there so i'm gonna see if i can grab a grab and go and head to the airport so i'll see you there Hey guys, hi. Welcome to, where are we? Chicago, we're in Chicago. The flight from uh, Fort Myers to Chicago. I couldn't think of where I was. Perfectly fine, very, very easy. The crew is amazing. The crew is amazing. Like these are like some of my favorite women. So we're having a wonderful time. Our passengers were just great. We were full, 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 187 people. Um, we had this little old lady, Jennifer, who was an absolute doll. I loved her. Um, helping her off the plane. There were a couple stragglers in the very, very back. So I um, took the advantage of the break to walk Jennifer up to the front to get her into her wheelchair, into her throne. And um, it, was a, it was a long enough wait that it was safe to do so. Usually we would wait until most of our passengers had deplaned so that no one is like stuck if we had to evacuate really quickly. But uh, there was enough time. So I'm getting Jennifer out. She's getting into her wheelchair and the people behind me, for the most part, everyone was very patient. But the, there was this one guy who was behind me who was chomping at the bit to basically like crawl over me to get out of the plane. It was 15 more seconds to let Jennifer out, but I'm like, I, I'm, I, I wanted to say, guy, listen, one day you're gonna be an old man and some you're gonna wish that someone were patient right behind you, you know what I mean? But that was the worst thing that happened all day. So um, real, again, really great crew and we're going home, so there's that. I will see you next in Las Vegas. Hey guys, hi. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Welcome back to my car, Shimi. I'm going to have to make this quick because the inside of my car is molten hot and my phone is going to overheat in just a moment, I'm sure. But I stopped off at the P.O. Box. I got your card, Julie. I got a couple more. I got two more birthday cards. I'll open these uh, at some point in the next day or two. I have two packages to open that I suspect are also birthday present so I'll show you those in a future video coming up very soon uh, but in the meantime I'm gonna head home take care of the cats because I miss them terribly it's been a long time um, I'll tell you this flight today from Chicago to Vegas was unbelievable fantastic passengers amazing passengers it was almost like pre-covid it was so nice um, and um, I had some tremendous conversations with someone, amazing, deep, real adult conversations uh, to someone with someone who's also been in recovery for a number of years. And it was just, it made the whole trip. It really did. Amazing 
just wonderful, really inspirational. Uh, but I gotta go home. I am super tired. It's so hot in here. Um, I heard the weather is going to be very nice and a little cooler this week. So I think I'm going to drive out to Valley of Fire. I haven't been there in a while, so I'll take you along with me. But in the meantime, thank you for coming with me on this trip. I always appreciate you coming with me and I will see you very soon. All right. Have a great day and fly safe. Bye.